G'day, I'm Gordon Lockett, near and north. Uh, lived here all my life. Um, we, um, we have a rotary dairy on our home farm and we bought this property some 12 or 14 years ago. We had the opportunity to go into robots due to our long relationship with, with um, Laylee Gippsland. Two secondhand A4s come available. So we did some measuring and we retrofitted them to our existing herringbone and this is where we are today, milking 120 odd cows on, on about 100 hectares and we're looking to put a, a third robot in so we can milk a few more cows and take a bit of pressure off the home farm. Just like to introduce me, me two boys and the youngest one's not here but Ben's my oldest one. He's always been interested in farming and he's always been good with technology. So this was right up his alley to take on the management of this side. Ashley, um, he, he helps me at home and when we do the robots on the rotary farm at home, well, then him and I will learn the business at home. The reason why I've gone down this line is Everybody in the dairy industry are, are saying they're, they're finding it hard to get milkers, not so much workers on the farm side of it, but getting milkers is getting harder. Whereas doing it this way, it's much better for the cows and it's better for the workers. Like I've been milking cows all my life and I'm not getting sick of milking the cows, it's just the grind and then, you know, having to do it twice a day, every day, and this just gives you an out. You can get there when you want to in the morning and you can make sure everything's done in the afternoon and then you can go home. The cow temperament is, has been a lot better because you would think that less human contact would make them worse when you're around, but it seems to work in the opposite effect. We've brought some cows from the rotary shed here because they wouldn't leave the cups alone and a few days later they're walking in by themselves and you can nearly walk up to them in the yard. It's a lot more relaxed and there was a certain cow from the rotary shed that she was so big that looking at her you think she should do 50 or 60 litres just through the size of her and she would do her 35 litres and looking at her think that she should do more so we brought her here and Within two weeks, she went from 35 to 50 litres because she could get milked more than twice a day. And she was standing in the robot, there was a bit more room, so she was a lot more comfortable. And she obviously liked the robots. We've noticed that the components, like the fat and protein percentages in the milk, seem to be a little bit higher here, whether it's they're able to be milked more often so they don't get as stocked up. The cow health seems to be a lot better on the Laylee robot system because we've had hardly any lameness. You get less mastitis, but yeah, they just seem to be a lot healthier in themselves. One thing we do notice here with cow flow is that there's not pressure on the laneways because the cows can come and go as they want to. They just basically walk single file. That side of the system works very good. The way it's changed like our lifestyle, I've got kids now and um, me and Benny like playing footy and cricket and basketball and whatnot. Uh, I mainly work over at the rotary farm but like having the robots here frees up a worker and allows me to go do what I want to do because it you know, only takes one person to be here and it's made it a lot easier to um, yeah, get away. I'm the third generation farmer on the same property. Ben and Ash are the, the fourth generation and, and these little blokes there, um, hopefully they'll be the next one, but as long as there's someone around to chase the stragglers in and maybe feed the calves, even though we're putting in a Laylee calf feeding system, someone's still got to be around to do that. So my life, how it's been, will be totally different to how, how Ash and, and Ben, when they've got family, It'll just free up our lives and make it so much better. The farm and cow management side is where I think the where the robots really sort of come into their own. The guys at Laylee Gippsland, they came out and generated a report and made it automatically draft the cows that were on heat at the time of heat. 
which helped with the conception rate by 20% from the first year where that we didn't have that didn't have that set up. Yeah, the conception rate went through the roof. Like in the last joining here, I think we're down to about 10% empties, which is really good. We find on, on that mastitis cell count issue, you'll find some clots on the filter sock, Well, you've either got to go back to your previous herd test to find out who had the high cell count and then go looking. Whereas if his cell count goes up on the robot farm, you know, you can track it down within one or two milkings, whereas you might scratch your head for a week on the on a conventional system. The robot situation, you can retrofit you know, either put them down the side of your cow yard or you can tuck them in in under the roof where we have done here. When we put them at home on the rotary farm there, we'll, we'll probably put them in, roof the cow yard over and put them in there. You don't have to go out and do half an acre of excavation to make a site. We've proven that here. It's just so much more relaxed and yeah, it's, it's just better lifestyle for everyone concerned. We sort of entered into it with no expectation of how well it was going to work. The farm management is probably the big winner. Rather than spending half your life standing on concrete under a roof, you can spend your time out in the field. The backup service of um, Layla Gippsland and Greg and his crew is, you know, second to none, and I knew that's how it would be. They've put us into a, a regular service regime, they can check online, and that's made a huge difference to our downtime. Call out time is having that regular service, and you know, it's, it's just been great from start to, well, there is no finish yet. I don't think there'll ever be a finish with, with our association with them. So, you know, anybody thinking about putting the system in, they just talk to the crew at Layla Gippsland and they'll make it happen and they won't be disappointed. <laughs>